uh, dear students uh, today i will tell you about the simplex method uh, that how the simplex method works uh, in finding the optimal solutions for uh, linear programming so in this one today we will do the first iterations and uh, in the next video we'll do the second and third iteration so this is objective functions which is for uh, maximization so this is for maximization and uh, we have constraints over here uh, we have two constraints the, const the first constraint is uh, 2x plus 4y is less than or equal to 16 and the second constraint is 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 12 right so and this one is the negativity constraint non-negativity constraint that all variables must be x and y must be equal and greater than zero now first of all for the simplex uh, method tableau we need to convert uh, the equation the into the standard form right both of the equation whether it's objective function or whether it's a constraint so uh, for that one we need to introduce uh, slack value so since it is the the, the equation the, the equation is less than uh, and equal to sign is there so we need to introduce slack value plus s1 right so here and we need to convert this less than sign sign will be removed so before there was like you know this sign if you can see but we removed this sign because we introduced the slack value and similarly with the constraint number two we also need to remove uh, this the less than sign so that becomes in a standard form and for um, objective functions we just need to write the s1 and s2 with the co with the coefficient zero just for a notation right because this will be needed in a in the tableau format below so let's come to the tableau format we have it right the first the other iterations i will do in a next video but just for um, your midterm exam so i will i'm doing this one uh, just to make it things clear for you as a revision so now let's see here how we do how we write it so usually we take the uh, uh, the variables which we have x variable we have y variable we have a slack value s1 we have a slack value s2 in the second constraint then we have some basis so basis we write like uh, uh, s1 and s2 on the left hand side right and cb these are the uh, coefficients of your uh, objective function like for example if you look at this objective function uh, what are the coefficients i just like you know uh, make it a little bit bigger for you so that you can easily uh, see over here so the coefficients over here are for example for x the coefficient is seven so i just like you know pinpoint for you that this is x and the coefficient means like you're the neighboring person so the neighbor of x is seven so i just write uh, seven over here in this place so i just like you know make it highlight for you okay so this is the one okay and similarly for uh, the six y so for y the coefficient is like you know six so i write the uh, the coefficient over here, six or so i just highlight again for you right okay then i write the coefficient of s1 so in the in the objective functions which is zero because there is no value over there so i write over here and another one i write uh, for s2 the coefficient is zero right so this line is done then we have some like you know um, uh, on the right hand side so what are the values on the on the constraint so we write as a b so b is 16 here this one so i just like transfer here 16 over here so i write it this one as well and then and then i have the for the second constraint on the right hand side is 12 so i write it over here right okay so this is now uh, straightforward now for the and the first constraint so how these values comes for the for the first constraint so uh, i see the neighbors of the first constraint one which is for x is two so i write two over here so i will give some different colors so that you understand that what does it mean so i i put a green color over here right so uh, the coefficient of uh, y is four so i just like you know four over here right and the coefficient of s1 is usually one so all uh, like the neighbor of s1 is one i mean here so usually uh, in mathematically one is already here but we don't write it right so one is here so i put one over here and then i have like you know s2 is not there so the coefficient or the neighbor or jar is zero right okay and now um the values for s1 and s2 we just like you know put it in a different color here 
uh, I give it a yellow yellowish color and also for us two also yellowish color so that you can differentiate now the coefficients of uh, uh, constraint 2 so for x is 3 so this is 3 so let me give you some different colors so that you understand it let's have some bluish color okay that's good okay and then for y we have uh, 2 if you see over here we have 2 okay for s1 is not there so it will be automatically 0 and for uh, as uh, 2 we have it is 1 because already I told you similarly in constant 1 we have 1 so here also we have a 1 right so I just like put 1 over here okay okay so now these like you know four rows are complete right the ratios I will tell you how did I find it so uh, before that one we the most important thing is uh, ZJ so what is the ZJ this I need to find it so this is very important so I just make it red color so that you understand what is ZJ so ZJ, there is a process for the ZJ. So we need to multiply yellow with the green, okay? okay. And then after that one, we need to add uh, this yellow and with this blue, right? So it will become zero, okay? <clears throat> and similarly, uh, for, for this value, we got it. So now this value is like, you know, already taken. So I make it uh, green for you. Now, this value, how this value comes, because in your exams, different values will be given. So, you must know the process, although all values come zero, but how this zero comes, this is important. So, you need to multiply this zero with this four and plus, and this, this zero with this two, okay? So, the total that becomes zero as well, right? Okay? Because anything multiplied with the zero is zero. And similarly, uh, with this, like, for example, this zero multiplied by this one plus, this zero multiplied by this zero so total is zero again right so we are like you are getting zeros again and now if you see this zero if you multiply with this one plus this zero multiply with this zero so what we get it we get zero again right so in this one zj is all zero right okay now the question is how to get this one cj minus zj right so how we can get this one so let's see um, uh, there is a it's very simple you just you just need to take this one this row okay so I think it's it's better to uh, name this one as a, a CJ so that becomes more easier for you so now you can easily minus CJ this one uh, with the ZJ so that becomes easy so 7 the red color minus this green color is 7 right then 6 minus this 0 6 and 0 minus this one is 0 and then 0 minus 0 minus 0 with the green color is 0 so now we got this line okay so that that line we got it so I give some different color so that you you just like you know differentiate between them okay okay now the question is how these ratios comes right so it's very easy okay uh, so first you need to do what you need to uh, choose a pivot uh, columns for pivot column we have a rule over here so this is the rule so I make the rule in a red color okay so this is the rule the rule is important so uh, here we cannot stop we need to go for the second iterations okay so in the, according to this rule um, these values should be equal and less than zero but what happens uh, these two values this values this is in red color this is uh, greater than zero and this one is also greater than zero okay Okay, and then for pivotal column, we need to choose the, the higher one. Which one is the higher? So, 7 is the higher, right? So, I just uh, unchose this one. Okay, unchose this one. Okay, and this one is a higher one. So, uh, any value like this one with the higher one is chosen as a, as a pivot column. So, the pivot column like would be chosen like this one. Okay, let me choose this column as a pivot column. So, I give it like a... Uh, different color like this one or I think uh, this would be more better right okay so because I this is called pivot column or key column right and now I need a pivot row so for pivot row what I need to do I need to find the ratio so I will find the ratio with the help of this column okay so how do I find how, how do I find it so this is B divided by this uh, element and b divided by this element right so if you see over here the formula over here so see 16 so this is b and divided by 2 right so we got it 8 right and similarly uh, and this is b is 12 right divided by 
this three pivot column uh, element so which is uh, four right now uh, we need a, um, a pivot uh, call a row as well so how can i find the pivot row so which one is minimum this one is minimum or this one so this one is minimum so uh, that will be my uh, pivot row so this is the minimum one so i will choose this one as a uh, pivot uh, row right so this will be as a uh, pivot row for me right now i have a pivot uh, key element or p, uh, pivot element or key element so this is my key so i make it like a uh, different color okay yeah this is my or i think it should be different color so that yeah okay so this the red color is my pivot like you know a pivot element or pivot uh, or key element right so by this way and this will be like you know used in the in the further stages right so we will go in the next video we will go for the further stages so this is how we find the first iterations right and um, and this will be enough for you in midterm thank you very much have a nice time